Hey what's going on guys, welcome to another video, it's your boy KNX here for another tutorial and today we're gonna do a quick tutorial and learn something new in Blender. So today we're gonna learn how to create the perfect setup to glass, so, so how to create glass in the perf with the perfect settings to have in Blender. So let's go to Blender and learn something, let's go! Alright guys, we are here in Blender and ready to start the tutorial. I have already created the model because I think that uh, if I created this model recording, I think that uh, it will be really boring to see because you are here to see how to create a, a perfect setup for your glass, for a glass shader. So now I have already created the model and let's go to the shading panel to learn the setup. The setup that I'm gonna use is basically a advanced setup for beginners. So if you are a beginner you probably want to know how to create this setup because it's something advanced. It's not advanced but it's in the middle of advanced and beginner and it's something about nodes and you want to learn a lot about nodes because nodes is super important in Blender and in other 3D software. So now I have already created one material it's a principal but material so basically this material we're gonna use to create or to change everything in our scene or in our window but I want to separate the window into parts I want to separate the borders of our window basically or of our glass so I'm gonna go enter uh, into the edit mode and in the edit mode I'm gonna add here a new material you click new and I'm gonna click assign to this face that I have already choose all right now I have the window separated in two parts I have one material for the borders you can see right here I have another material for the window or for the glass so now that I have this let's start or let's get started with the setup so right now I'm gonna add here a glass BSTF it's what we will gonna use. I'm gonna uh, input this to the surface. I'm gonna add here a color ramp, and the color ramp it's what we're gonna use just to change a little bit the roughness. So to have more uh, control in the roughness, I'm gonna add here a noise texture. The noise texture. I'm gonna input the factory to the color ramp, and let's add here a texture coordinate to our noise texture. Input the object to the vector, and now we are ready to start. I'm gonna go over here and bring the roughness to something like that, okay. And now let's bring this to something like that. Alright, now we have a glass sh shader and we need a, a transparent shader for this glass because the glass is not just something that reflects, it's something that is transparent. So to have something like glass we need a transparent BSDF. So let's go and add a transparent BSDF. I'm trying to explain everything. Uh, super easy and super fast for you guys. I hope you are understanding and if you aren't understanding go and uh, see a lot of times this video and you probably will un understand everything that I'm saying. So now we have this trans transparent BSTF and we have the glass BSTF. To connect them together or to mix them together we need a mix shader because they are, they are two shaders, they are not textures like the noise texture and they are not color ramps. With the color ramp you, we probably could just use a mix RGB, with the noise texture we could use a mix RGB too. So let's go and add a mix shader, because these are two shader nodes. So let's input this over here, and now we have the glass and the transparent BSTF. But we need to have another node to tell this mix shader how to mix the glass with the transparent. So for that I'm gonna add here a light path. The light path it's uh, the node that we're gonna use just to the glass and the transparent be changing or be mixing the settings or just for the glass and the transparent mix uh, really well and uh, mixing with the factory of our lightning. We need the, these nodes, this light path just to say the glass to the glass and the transparent to work together or to mix together with the lightning that it's in our scene. So. The glass and the transparent BSTF needs to have an, a light path to work really well. So now we have a node light path, but we're gonna use more than just one input in this light path. So to add two inputs into just one factory in this mix shader, we just need to add here a matte shader. Okay, this matte shader is really 
uh, super easy to understand we're just gonna use uh, two nodes and basically using here some uh, modes to multiply them or to multiply them or to add them uh, together and something like that you can understand super easy and super well how the, the matte shader works so now I'm gonna use a reflection and I'm gonna use a transparent step to add in this matte so now we want to have here the maximum okay let's go comparison maximum okay now we just need to connect the value to the factory and now the glass and the transparent will mix with the reflection with our light path and the transparent of our light path so basically is it's super easy to understand and super cool to know about these nodes so if you haven't un understand a lot of nodes or if you are a beginner I uh, recommend you to go and learn nodes because it's super important in the 3D worlds okay guys so now let's input the value into the factory and voila we have our glass shader super easy super good Tana! just like that and you can play with the values you can play with the controls and get something different but with the glass node so this is how we can create a perfect setup for the glass and I hope I explain everything uh, well for you guys so now what uh, uh, we just need to do is just add here a material for the borders of our window so let me just change this to something like uh, let me see something like that I think it's looking pretty good and I'm go over here and choose the same material all right now we have a super and amazing window working really well and that's the tutorial I hope you enjoyed and if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe okay guys and because we are trying to reach the 100 subs in this month so if you are not subscribed go and subscribe and don't forget to give a like and uh, if you have some friends that like 3d and want to learn 3d go uh, speak with them and share with them this channel and this video okay so that's it i see you in the next time bye guys